concussion. So I'm going to change his eyes to represent that um, by breaking the connection between the eyes and making it either large or small, depending. And that would be reflected in the mannequin. Um, also, let's say that um, our sim actually has asthma instead. I'll change his eyes back to normal here. I'm going to go down here and I can create difficult breathing. You can hear that coming through. Over in this area, by the simulation control, um, this shows his trend, so without any intervention, you can see some of his vital signs are dropping. Um, and what happens is, is when the healthcare professional interacts with Sim and does the appropriate treatment, the vital signs will go back to normal, um, and that's what we want to see. And all of that's been programmed in by your medical simulation technician. So this is a sim pad and what this is used for is um, running the mannequins but you can also use it for something called a simulated patient and with that I can become the patient and I can click in here and it will actually give me prompts to um, how to respond to you. All right, which one should we choose? Let's do severe asthma. So there's the scenario outline that gives the idea about what this, what's going on. And then once we go through that, we would start. And in this section right here, it prompts um, everything that should happen. So as the person training comes in and, and starts to interact with me, I check off whether or not they've washed their hands, whether they've identified me and asked my name, whether they've been and if they take too long, it'll give me a prompt. So right here it says, can't breathe. So I would say, I can't breathe. Did they introduce themselves? And all of that will be recorded and then given back to the healthcare professional to give them feedback. 